the shift. I am not teaching my girl to rise above the rest. I am teaching her to rise with them. I am not teaching her to compare or compete. I am teaching her to complement and complete. I am not teaching her to be better than her peers. I am teaching her to better her peers. I am not teaching her to stand out from other girls. I am teaching her to stand with other girls. Do you see the difference? One changes the girl, the other changes the world. Let us work together to shift the narrative. Let us work together to shift the world. This is Merle from her book, Raise Her Wild. You did it. You have changed your narrative. Together, we too have changed the narrative for the bar examinations, and hopefully with that, you have contributed to changing the narrative of what is possible with this court and, of course, this country. It is true that we should own responsibility for what we achieve in our lifetimes, but it is likewise true that we do not all come from the same starting points. Some are more privileged than the rest. Others face more challenges due to circumstances they were born into, the communities they live in, the dearth of opportunities within their geographic areas, or the inherent discrimination that comes with their ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender identity, or expression. Understanding this is basic to understanding inequality and injustice, and more so to finding the normative means to grant just rewards. Equity, efficiency, reasonableness of the minimum required to become a lawyer, all while maintaining the rigor of the bar examinations, those were our goals for this round of reforms. Digitalization, local testing centers, inclusivity, a grading system that privileges achievement rather than competition, gender inclusivity in the application process, gender fair questions, honor codes, followed by strictly followed syllabus, and a, and a focus on the canonical provisions and jurisprudence. These were the actual reforms introduced this bar examinations done during a pandemic, three waves of COVID-19 virus, total and partial lockdowns globally and nationally, and a typhoon that ravaged the Visayas. I acknowledge the extraordinary difficulties that you have all experienced, the long nights, the uncertainty, the voluntary isolation, the reviews, and study groups through Zoom, the 32 bar bulletins, bar plus, then bar plus, then bar plus again. Then the shifts in the schedules, then the changes in the number of days, the one month isolation, the COVID antigen test 48 hours before, then day one, then the exhaustion after day one, all the contingencies, all the personnel, and all the testing sites. Then came the waiting for two months. The surprise announcement about announcement. The grading of the examination answers in record time. Then, pansit, that night before the release of the results of the bar. Sana may nagbigay ng pansit sa inyo. The special session of the court and bank, then the announcement, 8,241, 72.28, exemplary passers, excellent passers, the ranking of law schools. Of course, there was Twitter, the hashtag, barchairlionen at gmail.com. Then the values, comparison, compassion rather than competition, honor and excellence, perseverance, doing justice, serving our people. Thus, here you are. About to take the lawyer's oath before the entire court and bank unanimously. It was not easy for you. The bar examination maintained its rigor. You went through difficulties which no other lawyer in this country had gone through to take the bar examination. Let me repeat that. You went through difficulties which no other lawyer in this jurisdiction had ever had to go through. 
not even during the World War. Yet you persevered, yet you conquered. It was, it was not easy also for us, but we too overcame. We faced all the challenges, installed a number of new procedures and protocols through patience, perseverance, creativity, and through massive collective effort of this court, along with all its court personnel. With leave of the Chief Justice, the Senior Associate Justice, and my esteemed colleagues, in view of the revolutionary nature of what we have just been through, I ask for leave to acknowledge many of those who have contributed to these efforts. I start with those who have stood with us and kept their faith in our ability to surmount our challenges. I refer to all our loved ones, our friends, our professors, our deans, the profession who took time to provide their support through various organizations, the ayuda that was sent to all of you, the barista, the security personnel who allowed examinees to keep those long nights, the grab drivers that delivered your food through the pandemic, the hopeful significant other who sent you ayuda likewise, those who ghosted you along the way because I said, bar muna bago jowa. And many others who can only remain unnamed in these ceremonies, but will forever be remembered by all of you, the examinees. To honor them, I ask the bar examinees to now stand up and give your loved ones and colleagues who have been with you throughout this difficult journey a rousing and heartfelt standing ovation. Write in the comments below where you are watching this from so I can personally thank you. Be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post. See you on the next one.